Hi there, this is Vector Statics uh, Equilibrium, and uh, basically what I'm going to be talking about in this video is essentially how to reach a uh, static condition. So that, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's not moving, but it just means that no acceleration or, um, like, yeah, the body's not accelerating, so it's moving at a constant speed, or it's not moving, so one or the other. And, uh... Also, we're just going to talk about a couple of uh, physical joints that you will see and what their reaction would be in a free body diagram, which you'll be really focusing on later on. So, um, yeah, first of all, let's just get the main points across. We have, uh, you, you have the whole point that static is uh, not moving or moving or what I mean is accelerating so what does that mean when we say it's not moving or accelerating well what this means to us is that we know that the sum of all the forces in a certain direction must equal zero. So that applies to the f of x and the f of y. <coughs> but also, if you were to pick a point, <coughs> excuse me, if you were to pick a point, the moment, the sum of all the moments, should also equal zero. This isn't very uncommon from what we've been doing, but uh, the idea ultimately is that the sum of the applied plus the sum of um, its reaction uh, equals zero. Another way of writing that would be the sum of the applied equals the sum of the reaction. And this is um this is just a basic Newtonian principle which basically says where there is an action there needs to be an equal and opposite reaction. That's fairly basic. So um let's just look at some real life examples that you'll see and how we would look at them and then model them. So basically, let's just see real life, real life stuff. I'm just going to put real life stuff. Okay, so what if, um, I don't know, you have a cart or something and that wheel comes down at whatever angle, doesn't really matter, and you have a wheel on it. Well, that wheel is on the ground. Notice that if you were to push forward or push on that wheel in this direction, in what I'll just call the X direction, um, notice that the wheel would just roll. No force would be, it, it would put no strain on the actual body, on the actual bar or anything. So. We don't consider that a direction either, and notice that since there's a pin here, that this could freely rotate, and it wouldn't affect it. So the only thing that this seems to do is push down. So this is kind of like, this is very similar to saying, well what if you just had like a, a piece of metal? And all you could get from this uh, free body diagram is a force that's going up. Because the rest of them would translate not into um, forces in the material, but it would translate into some sort of motion and such. So if you're talking about supporting, the only thing that this, um, that this wheel will give is a direct force upward. And basically, you know, that's just, that's just one unknown. So you only need you're only looking for one 
uh, value if you see a wheel. And this isn't the only place you see, like, one. I mean, well, you've seen a bunch of them before. Um, I don't know, I'll just draw a bar here. Little string attached to the ceiling. Well, I mean, if you were to draw a free body diagram of that bar, it's just a, a string is just a force pulling in the direction of the string. Once again, only one unknown. Another one, um, I, I guess you could point out... Hmm... Well, I mean, there's other more interesting ones. Let's... how about this? You have a little jolting out here with a... You could do something like this. What does that look like to you? Well, what that says to me is that this is going to be stopped in two different directions because the pin won't allow it to move up or sideways. It won't allow it to move, but it will allow it to freely rotate so, if you're looking at this in a 2D frame, because, I mean, obviously it prohibits rotation and such as well, but um, when you look at these, typically they're only thinking of, you know, you got your, your X component and your Y component. So very nifty. And uh, I guess we could probably just show you the ultimate one, which will be right here. This is essentially just a a bar or 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 uh, something that's just stuck in the ground. And what this will prohibit is this will not allow it to move right or up or rotate. So what this looks like is the same thing as before, just you add rotation. this previous one was two unknowns and this is three unknowns so I just wanted to kind of give you a um, maybe a connection between real life and how you're going to be modeling it and really it is a judgment call like sometimes um, it will be something that you can feel a little bit resistance like maybe it's a rough surface but um, you know, it'll be a judgment call of whether it's, is it so rough that it makes a difference, or maybe that's negligible and we can just can't, like, neglect that for a little while. So it's kind of, it's all left up to the engineer, and that's why we get in the most trouble whenever we do something wrong, because it's usually some assumption we make later on, uh, earlier on. So, anyway, let's, um, stop here and we'll continue on with the next video.